Hi, Adrian. How are you doing today? I'm good. What about you? Oh, great. I'm really excited. How are things going down there on Jeju Island? Well, we're carrying on. You know, it's March. And yeah. It's always a nice time of year, and mm-hmm. we're having a little bit of problem with the yellow dust. I don't know if that's still. Yeah, um, well, here there. in Seoul as well, and mm. it's. It's always a bit like that during springtime, uh, but what I like is the energy. Nature is slowly waking up, and that's always nice. And you know, it's actually waking up a little earlier. As, as a matter of fact, it, uh, I've read a report that the Hwangsa is coming, or the yellow dust is coming a little earlier this year uh-huh. than normal. It's usually in <laughs> April, but now it's all going to happen in March, apparently. But I'm always a bit jealous because over there on Jeju Island, uh, you always have beautiful nature. You have the ocean. You have the mountains. Uh, it's it's basically kind of like a, a little paradise. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so a paradise, an oasis. Sure. And you're lucky to live there, Todd. Uh, Todd is actually talking to us from our Arirang um, Jeju studio, and you'll be updating us on um, pretty much anything and everything we can do on the island. Now we usually talk about. Maybe a place. Uh, we've talked about museums, for instance, festivals. Sometimes we introduced, um, I guess, celebrities, local celebrities, mm-hmm. uh, and also activities. But this time around, we're going to try something new, and I think it has to do with food. Give me more details. Yes, exactly. And I'm really excited to present all this delicious food to our yeah. our listeners. I hope they've had dinner though, because <laughs> their, their stomachs might grumble a little bit. I think mine might as well. Uh-huh. Uh, Jeju Islands. Got a fantastic range of foods. Yeah. Oh, hmm. I'm getting hungry now already. I've been there several times myself, and every time I go, I I always enjoy going to the restaurants there because the food is just so fresh and so tasty. Yes, it is. Mm. Uh, we can we can talk all day about this. I'm That's sure. That's right. <laughs> Where do you want to start? I think uh, let's talk about the meat dishes. Okay. Let's get right meat. into it. Okay, mm. first, meat first. Uh-huh. So, you know, this is, again, I should say, this is a personal list. There's no way we could touch upon everything mm-hmm. in one one uh, segment. So, yeah. um, you know, I've just tried to pick a, kind of a wide range of, of choices and like some quintessential Jeju foods mm. that easily come to mind, you know, ones that I've tried and I like and... Um, you know, even in the past few days, I've been thinking about this subject and going, you know, revisiting a couple of restaurants and yeah. trying it again, just kind of researching and refreshing my memory. It's been it's been great. I know why now restaurant reviewers are just so uh, happy, and they also tend to be quite popular with their friends because they get in, uh-huh. you know, to get to invite people out to eat a lot. Isn't that the best job? Like a restaurant reviewer, you get to taste all the foods you want all over the place. I think it's one of the yeah top level jobs. For oh. For a reporter. Mm. Um, so today we will take our listeners uh, to different, I guess, different places on the island and different things they can try if they ever uh, visit Jeju-do Island. But one thing we can also mention is that you don't always have to go down to Jeju-do Island if you want to eat food from Jeju-do. Uh, you can also get, uh, you know, food here in Seoul. I've seen a few restaurants specialized on these uh Jeju culinary dishes. Oh, that's great. That's great to know. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Just in case they want to try. Well, and, <laughs> and I was I was going to start with one that's definitely uh, or originated anyway in Jeju. Maybe you can get it in Seoul now. Gogi guksu. Gogi guksu. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I think everyone has to try it once if they come here for sure. It's it's Jeju sliced pork uh-huh. in a noodle soup um, kind of uh, dish bowl. Okay. And, I um, like both. I like pork and I like noodles, so I think I'll like this one. It's really popular. Kogi sh- kuksu. Yeah, they, you know, they they cut they um, boil these noodles in a in a really nice broth, mm-hmm. and they add uh, sliced green onion and maybe add five or six slices of uh, thick slices of po- uh, boiled pork, mm-hmm. and then you can sort of um, you can add salt and pepper and even red. Uh, chili powder to your own taste. Okay. Uh, and then there are all the, the usual side dishes, you know, some kimchi and on the uh, side. Yeah, the pickled onion, that kind of thing. Is it spicy? Uh it can be. If you they they do add a little bit of the uh, the red pepper paste. So uh-huh. gochujang? Uh, yes. And so yeah, it 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 really uh it hits you right from the start. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> the onion as well. Uh but it's really popular. It's hearty. It's a year-round food. Um, it doesn't take, it's like pretty easy to make. So mm-hmm. it doesn't take long when you order, you know, you can sit down and within a couple of minutes you're eating. Yeah. Generally. If they, you need like a quick fix, uh-huh. this is definitely one option. And it's not expensive either. It's like 6,000 won. So that's what, $6, 5 $6? Yeah. In, in that that's range. really cheap actually for a nice hearty bowl of uh, 
pork noodle soup. Uh-huh. And as you know, I'm f- I'm um, fond of pro tips. So here's one for everyone. There are some restaurants, Gokibuksu restaurants in Jeju City, and mm-hmm. I won't mention their names. Um, they uh, allow you to just say... Um, Order a large, as it were, and it's no extra charge at all. And so they'll really? just, yeah, they'll just pile it in for you. And of course, you should eat it all if you can. But yeah, but um, yeah, I, I really like that uh, option. Hmm. It's, it's a f- really friendly, friendly thing. And another pro tip is if you really want spicy soup, you can take one of the the, the uh, green chili peppers. Yeah. And the ones on grown on Jeju are particularly spicy. Mm-hmm. Uh, they say it's because it's so sunny down here that, that makes it more spicy. But okay. uh, you can take the scissors that come, uh, that are part of the uh, sort of the table accoutrement. To cut uh, to cut the noodles? To cut the noodles, exactly. Uh-huh. But you can also cut one of these uh, chili peppers up. And Inside your bowl? In, and drop it into the ah. soup, yeah. And that will really spice things up. And I've seen only a handful of people ever do I haven't, that. I haven't seen anyone do that, but maybe uh, I'll try that next time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we talk about we talk about meat. I guess we also have to talk about barbecue. And one big name or um, one big food that pops into my mind right now is hukteji, and that's a classic, right? It is Jeju black pork. Mm-hmm. Yes, there is a, a version of uh, Jeju uh, black cow as well, but um, it's not really for uh, eating. But there, we do have hanu down here, the Korean beef. Yeah. And yeah, barbecued pork. The the Jeju black pig has many different layers of, of meat and, and fat, mm-hmm. which, uh, um, I mean, others on the mainland do too. But this has a this extra kind of special flavor and tenderness uh, hmm. to this black uh, pork. And what's so special about it? I mean, every time I talk about food on Jeju-do Island, people always mention hukteji. It's one of mm. the first words that comes out of their mouth. Well, uh, it has... But because we're on an island, uh, there has been very little interbreeding. Mm. So this particular, uh, I guess, strain or version of the the black pig yeah. has remained more or less the same, and mm. and it's and renowned for being quite hearty. Its its body shape is a little different, and it it uh, its diet is different, obviously, because it's eating mm-hmm. the native um, Jeju ing- ingredients. Yeah, and so. Um, over the centuries, it's just sort of it developed its own, hmm. uh, yeah, flavor, I guess you could say. For some people, it might sound a bit scary. You tell them, you know, you want to try black pork. They might be like, what? Huh? Huh? And then if you try, it's pretty much the opposite. It's really good. Uh-huh. And bl- the black actually refers to the um, the hair of the pig. Yeah, it's not the color of the meat. No, no. No, no, not no. at all. The, the hair, <laughs> and sometimes when they serve this um these slices of the boiled, particularly the boiled uh, pork, you can see a little bit of stubble, black stubble mm-hmm. on there. And that's not supposed to be off-putting. People people uh, do eat it all. Yeah, it's normal. It's normal. Okay. It's not a mistake. You you quickly mentioned beef. Um, personally, I haven't tried beef on Jeju-do Island. I usually go for the, the pork. Mm-hmm. But what do you like? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer beef or pork since you live there? Yeah, I prefer... Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble now. <laughs> I prefer the beef, the beef, the marbled beef. It's 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 very it's very nice marbling. Uh-huh. So it's not too um, tough and it's not too greasy. Uh, okay. And when you cook it, you know these thin slices of 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 meat over. I prefer the charcoal grill mm-hmm. as opposed to the gas grill. Yeah. You know how they sit it in the middle of the table and uh, you you cook your own. That's really fun. Yeah, it cooking is. experience. You make your own and you cook it however you want. Yeah, and people in the, at the table they they sort of divide up into their own preferred um, jobs. Yeah. So one will turn the meat and one will we'll serve. Will cut it and one will distribute it. Uh huh. And <laughs> serve the drinks and that kind of thing. That's yes. right. It's a real production. It's, it's fun. A great experience. So we'll continue to talk about this when we come back after the song break. And I think you'll uh, tell us more about some and maybe your favorite way to make a. A wrap. Okay. Is that all right? Yep. Okay, we'll play some music. Listeners, stick around if you have any questions, comments about, uh, yeah, Cheju, Korean culture. Leave us your messages on our homepage. This is Geeks featuring Park Jonghyun. Is you. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Catch the Wave on Arirang Radio. Todd Thacker is uh, with us. He's actually on Jeju-do Island, and we connect with him every single week in the second hour of our Sunday edition. And we're talking about food, and we don't usually talk about food so much here. It's mostly places, activities, or people. 
from Jeju-do Island. Uh, but this time around, we want to focus on culinary uh, dishes, and it's always nice. It might make some of our listeners hungry, maybe even you, Todd, a little bit hungry. Mm-hmm. Yes. How's, how's your stomach? I'm holding, <laughs> holding on, holding on. <laughs> Um, and we introduced already uh, several uh, options for our listeners if they ever visit Jeju-do Island. We talked about hukdeji. That's a classic Korean black pork barbecue uh, with all that experience. And we'll continue to talk about it. You know, here in Korea, people like to make food together and they also like to share it. And they also like to wrap it. Tell us more. Well, uh, yes, as you said, um, you can... Uh Uh, there's often lettuce or a cabbage mm-hmm. uh, leaves that are supplied. They're they're uncooked, yeah. and you you just pick one up. Uh, you have, um, put the cooked meat uh-huh. into it, maybe a little rice, but whatever you want. There's there are no rules, I think. Yeah, and just wrap it up, and that definitely um, kind of offsets some of the greasiness. And um, so you wrap your your meat basically. Yes, and then you just. You just eat it with your hands, right? Pop it in your mouth, or yeah, you could give it to someone else uh-huh. right? if it's a good friend of yours. Couple, couples <laughs> do that quite often. You know, the the guy prepares one for the girl, or maybe the girl prepares one for her partner, uh-huh. and they do that. It's quite common to see people do that in restaurants. One of my favorites is when you're eating pork in particular, you can actually cook the kimchi on the grill, Uh huh. The, the, just the regular kimchi, yeah. and that it will become soft and and. It goes really well with pork, actually. So do you put it in the sam or you just eat the, the meat with the kimchi, the cooked kimchi? It's kind of a make, makeshift wrap because it's it's hot, so you have to use your chopsticks, uh-huh. not your fingers. And, and yeah, so it's, it's a little delicate. Mm-hmm. You can drop it or something, but yeah. uh, the combination is fantastic. Mm. Now, here in, in Korea also, what, what I was surprised about when I first got here many years ago is that when you go to a, a meat restaurant or a barbecue restaurant, They they cook the meat, and all you eat in the beginning of that meal is just basically meat alone. You yeah. don't have the rice. You don't have any soup. It's meat, meat, meat. That's true. They start with it, yeah. but um, uh, and you know they they probably eat more moderately because they know that coming at the end of the meal mm-hmm. they can order um, as you said like a chige or um, like a maybe a kimchi soup or yeah. a soybean paste soup and like and a hot bowl. A big bowl that's shared by the table, yeah. and then uh, individual uh, bowls of rice. And then you can order, yeah, either rice or. Uh, do you also often eat naengmyeon or noodles uh, in, uh, on Jeju-do Island? Or yes, yes, uh, very much so. Um, it's it's a kind of a vinegary uh, broth, so it's it's really nice when you're having uh, you know again the kind of greasy yeah. pork It rinses off your palate. It does. It's 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 a really good option. Mm-hmm. And oh, uh, one more thing, I wanted to mention. People might not know this, but All Koreans uh, put their rice bowl on the left side ah. when they're eating. That's um, see, I never understood why. Because whenever I want to eat rice, and when it's on the left, you know, usually you have your own hot soup on the right. Yes, and I'm right-handed, so every time I have to, I I use my chopsticks I, or my spoon, and I want to take some rice, I have to go over my hot bowl mm-hmm. with my wrist and my hand, and I'm always afraid to get burned. I, I've never been able to pin down a reason. So I always put my rice, I always put it on the other side. I always oh. put my rice on the right side once they give it to me. Oh, wow. Do, pe- do people raise their eyebrows? or No. Oh, uh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> they don't usually say anything. Oh, wow. interesting. <laughs> Except if they're very conservative, but oh. well, that's usually not the case. Okay. Um, okay, sounds good. Yeah, barbecue experience, always fun, especially with some friends. If you have some time maybe after work or when you're traveling. Um, let's continue on a little bit here. Is there a place on the island that you like to go to for uh, this type of uh, food? Oh yeah, there is indeed. I'm glad you asked. Um, it's a just briefly. There's a refurbished sort of traditional market down here in the uh, old part of Jeju City, mm-hmm. and essentially it was dilapidated. No one was shopping there, so the city bought it and refurbished it, and then they sold these very inexpensive leases to people. And the twist is that they they can open these restaurants, but they're not restaurants in the typical sense because. What do you mean? Well, they have the tables. They they supply the tables and the side dishes and the drinks, um, and all that. But uh-huh. what you do is you go to the corner of the like the corner butcher shop, which is outside of that building, and you can order plates of meat. So you buy your meat there, and then you take it with you. You take it with you. Sometimes they'll deliver it for you. Oh. Um, if you run out of meat while you're eating, they'll 
the uh, owner of that res- little restaurant will call and oh. order and bring more. So um, that's pretty cool. At it, least you get to choose what you're eating. You can. Uh, you can also make a little. Um, have a kind of a relationship or like a regular relationship with the the butcher so she'll he or she will give you a little bit more sobisu uh, sobis <laughs> yes they'll <laughs> That's recognize what they call you. it here in korea sobisu and it, it's basically extra uh food that they give you for free uh-huh but it's a very genuine thing they, they really yeah. do have to recognize you and it's, it's true it really sets a nice nice tone for the evening i would say Mm-mm-mm. it's like the cherry on top of the cake yeah that little extra Okay. Um, any other uh, meats that you would like to introduce here? Well, I would be remiss if I didn't mention pheasant because oh. a lot of traditional Jeju dishes use it. And that's because we have had um, for centuries, they've had a lot of pheasants, wild pheasants. Pheasants, so like the wild bird, right? The bird. The mm-hmm. bird itself. Um, I know when I first came here, I lived in the city and still there was a wild pheasant that, somewhere in the neighborhood who would wake me up at 4 a.m. with his... His uh, cockadoodling or whatever. So it's not a rooster. No, no, it's really. A, it's, it's a an, pheasant. A real pheasant. I caught an. I wow. Saw him a few times, and um, they're hmm. big. They're really big birds, actually. <laughs> what do they taste like? Well, it's, is it kind of like a, a duck or anything like that? It the meat is lean because it's wild. So that opposed to you know the duck meat is known for being a little more oily and kind mm. of a smoky flavor. Okay. Um, I've. I guess you could say it's kind of a cross between a chicken and a duck. Oh. I think that kind of makes sense. I think I would like that. Uh, but the meat has a really deep and rich flavor, and it's, all, again, light. So when you you know serve it in a soup or even thin slices with vegetables, mm-hmm. uh, it's easily digested and goes well with uh, a noodles. A noodles You can mm-hmm. put, put make a soup out of that as well. Um, Interesting. So the pheasant uh, buckwheat noodle soup is, is very popular here and well-known. Um, you know, it's kind of like a... We all know what chicken soup tastes like. Yeah. And it's hearty and satisfying. But, you know, we, we try this pheasant soup and it's like a nice change of pace. Hmm. Should try that next time. I've never tried actually uh, pheasant soup, especially not here in, in Korea or any pheasant dish. Uh, so I'll keep that in mind. I didn't know they were quite popular down there. Great. Okay. Well, thank you very much uh, for your information here, Todd. We only had time to talk about meat. Uh, so why don't we talk about seafood? I mean, Jeju-do Island is also very famous for its seafood. So why don't we keep that for maybe next week? Oh, that's a fantastic idea. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, Todd. Thank you. Beautiful weekend. Let's play some music, everyone. Let's uh, close down Wow Jeju with some more music. And I'll come back after the song break. Daybreak, 좋다, good.